My name is Nicole on the Midday Show. And guess what, guys? We have the leader of the revival. Hi, Ladipo. How you guys doing? How's it, BTFM? <laughs> you know I love coming here. Oh, my God. See voice in my ear. Let me just turn this headphones <laughs> down before. Uh, hi. How are you doing? I'm great. It's good to be here. You having a good day so far? Um, Yeah. I had an interview this morning with Apple. Um, I had another phone call and this phone call, but it's been amazing. Yeah. Productive day so far. Good, good, good. And we're happy to have you over here on The Beat 99. So, Ladipo, you just dropped. Uh, your new EP Providence yeah how's the response been so far mm. the response to Providence has been amazing yeah you know? uh, Providence week in my mind is still going on right now it's it's not over it's not over yeah you know okay but quickly what does Providence mean to you because I googled the definition of Providence yes. and I was like I want to know Ladipo's definition of um, Providence to be honest my definition is the definition because mm-hmm. that, that that the definition to Providence really was inspirational in the project being made you know, and that that timely preparation, timely preparation for future eventualities is it's so powerful to me because I mean, there's two things to focus on with that. First and foremost, timely, mm-hmm. doing it in good time, not just the day before. So, been doing it. That's one. Two, then future eventualities. I'd like to add that these eventualities that may never even come to pass. You know, so like to me, it's like you're preparing for something that may never even happen, but you're doing it regardless. So, like that that definition is just too powerful. That's beautiful. Yeah. I like that. I like when things have like poetic meanings to them. It's very nice. So this is a six track EP. You yes, have blessed is. us with beautiful music. <laughs> the first track, L O T R R two. I had to ask um our intern here. I was like, what do you think it means? <laughs> and I had this brain fart. I'm like, what if it means the leader of the revival? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like uh, she looks at you like yes. Yeah. She was like, mm, I think that's right. Yes, so exactly. I listened to the song. Amazing, amazing song. I saw that it's been nominated for best international flow. Mm, well, I mean, I think you know that that nomination came in and wow. BT, thank you so much for that nomination. I didn't win, but still. I mean, it's just to be nominated. It's amazing. Right? It's amazing. It's a big, big thing in my career. So you had one line in that song. I, I had to write it down. It said, the secret to longevity is always rewrite the narrative. Yes. How is Ladipo rewriting his narrative? <laughs> Um, you know, for me, that, that line is even bigger than me. You know, writing the narrative, especially surrounding just artistry from Africa, um, rap music from Nigeria, um, what it is to to do something that maybe your family or people told you you couldn't do. Um, it's all of those kind of things. It's just debunking myths and creating your own story, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think if you can continuously do that across your career, you'll always be relevant. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for me, it's now I feel like I'm inspiring a lot of people who want to rap or who, who want to make music that they felt was to be on the sidelines. They're now mm-hmm. feeling like, ah, no, we can we can make it too. We can be seen. We can chart, we can have a video, we can do this, we can do that. So, I mean, that that's really at the heart of it, what it's about. Nice. So, when, when did you get into rapping? Like, when did you start drop your first bar? I mean, like, I don't really even know how this whole thing started, you know. I was watching this thing online. I saw there's an um, American rapper. His name is Tobe Mwigwe, right? Okay. I don't know. I didn't pronounce his last name properly. But he's a, he's a dope American houston rapper from houston and he's talking to his mom and his mom was saying like when he came and told her that she wanted to rap she was like oh my god what have i done wrong in my life you know because he never displayed that desire never talked about that desire before same thing with me it never was something that i used to do when i was young Mm. i just you know kind of stumbled on it in college uh there's two of my guys kurt and jeff they used to make music and then i was like one day i was like "Ah, let me leave leave this beat with me now let me let me hear it and i wrote to it i've always liked stories Mm -hmm. so but it to manifest in rap surprise big surprise to me do you have any of these like journals of like your very first raps you ever wrote i'm down? sure you know the thing is i wish i had i wish i had the first verse i ever wrote i don't think i know where that is oh, but no. yes because i used to write things down you know these days it just is not practical for me anymore you know but i, I want to get back into that i want to capture my thoughts man i think that people who have, who have journals are the coolest people in the world really yes no you see it, it can backfire i used to have this uh secret diary it was password protected uh-huh. and everybody in my house knew my password so <laughs> i would go into the bathroom thinking i would say the password and everybody in the house knew the password and i used to write down my crushes and everything no. and best believe my mom stole some pages from that what? diary 
I and see. it was so sad. I was like, oh, oh my goodness, so he she doesn't even notice me. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> so so she knew that you had a crush on Anthony. Anthony, uh, no, the... let's, let's not use the name Anthony. My brother is called Anthony. Oh, <laughs> really? Okay, so <laughs> the, the Paul, I feel like you like look like, 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 like um, or maybe a G day. You look like, you like, like G day. He was a little white boy. His name was Perry. Gosh, oh, yeah. Perry. It was Perry. God, Perry. Oh, Perry. Anyway, let's get back to the music. So let's talk about running quickly. That mm. was the first single you dropped from this project. Yeah, yeah. So how did that come about? We actually have a mutual friend. Do we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Vibes. Oh, shout Andre. Shout out, Andre. Hey, Andre. Andre, um, first and foremost, is big shout out to him because he produced running. He also produced feeling, mm-hmm. you know, and um, uh, my condolences to him and his family. He's yeah. lost his father, who is a legend. And obviously the the genes are within him as well because it's the two amazing songs. Uh, getting get, getting that putting that song together was not very difficult because there was a lot. There was already a maybe I've been using the phrase mutual respect between me and Fire. We've been talking bit by bit, but we mm-hmm. just hadn't had the chance to lock into the studio. So when we did get that chance, you know, we worked on some music. We worked on music. Running was just one of the songs that came out of that session, and um, I'm just really proud of the song because it says everything that it needs to say. And it's a really good follow-up to feeling and and, and and a great first single of Providence, you know. Right. Very is. proud of that song. You should be. And we saw on your Instagram that you teased the video coming <laughs> out tomorrow. Oh, the video's dropping today. today. Guys, everybody listen to me right now. Running video is out today. I think it's about 4 p.m., 5 p.m. So just stay locked to my Instagram, to my socials, you know, dropping that new music You heard video. it here first. First, actually, you're hearing it here first on the Beats mm-hmm. FM, mm-hmm. Nicole. Mm-hmm. You know, it's Lady Polita, the Viva <laughs> Run is coming out soon. And Nicole, I don't have a tagline yet, but you know, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> So another song I want to talk to you about quickly is the one with Rema, your fellow label Ooh, mate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Afro Jigga. Mm-mm-mm. Afro Jigga. What's, what does that embody? When I think Afro Jigga, I think some some Jiggy guy. Like, Please tell me. You know, what do you think when you hear Afro Jigga? Afro Jigga, it was... Mm, okay, you see, there was one line in it. Everything is Nigeria made except the dollar. I was just like, you know what? Snap, snap, snap. Snap, I'm trying to- snap, snap. <laughs> Everything, I loved it. Everything that's on me is uh, customized to my frame. All mm. is Nigerian made, except for the dollars. Oh, <laughs> she cool. I could tell that. Yeah, she liked that line. I like that line. Um, anything that has anything to do with foreign currencies. Yes, trust me, I'm it. here with you. Um, that song Afro Jigger. I think first and foremost, you know that that word Jigger is you know obviously you know we think of Jay Z Hove. And um, but it's a double entendre because me and my guys are always talking about things jigging. Like, oh my goodness, look at Nicole's blouse. It's jigging, oh, it's really nice. It a jig. Thank you. You know, so it's like it's popping, it's hot, it's nice. Look at me, it's fresh. You know, so that 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 is what goes into the spirit of the track. Is a lot of bragginess, braggadocio. I like, I'm the one, I'm the guy. And so there's um, something cocky and sexy about that. I don't know. Mm. T- talk to me, nice. Talk to you me, were, nice, you Nicole. Were, you were saying, Larifo? Yeah. So, Come on, you know, stop, stop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Working on that record was amazing because um so I dropped my pre-hook and um punchline you guys I recorded a whole new r- version for radio for you guys punchline hitter that's on the original line mm. you know what I mean and so um my head of A and R she heard it and she's like you know Rema would kill this so she sent it to Rema and he knocked that that part out one time Mad. you know and um I really I'm happy to have worked with him on the track I'm a big believer in in Rema. And, um, you know, I'm sure there'll be more stuff coming from us. I'm sure indeed. I too am chilling with my jiggy guy. But <laughs> I nearly said the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> she does that one nicely. Uh, oh, okay. Ladipo mm. is still in the building. That was but Afro you Jig. You see, I was going to do that. But you knew that. But you knew that. <laughs> it's becoming a thing. It's becoming a thing. It is a thing. Do you know, anytime I call Andre and I'm like, vibe. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we just knew that. Yeah, hard. Okay, so that was Afro Jigger, like I said, Ladipo featuring Rema. Oh, that is. See, one thing I like about you, yeah, you're very creative with your words. Like, I can put my hands up and say I'm not the biggest fan of rap. Mm-hmm. I don't even listen to that much Nigerian rap. Sorry, I, I feel bad saying that. Yeah, <laughs> it's the way she whispered it for me. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know who's listening but when it comes to you you are very very like articulate and it's almost like I'm in a seminar and I'm listening to like a lecture just drop <laughs> some some gems on my head so how like how long does it take you normally to like write one song it really depends on the song um, yeah. for instance LOTR 2 took me a while mm-hmm. it took me a while because there's a lot of things I wanted to express and I wanted to express them accurately yeah um, the verse for Afrojig didn't really take me very long you know, um, to write, you know, so it's, it's, it's relative. It's funny. Somebody tweeted that Daddy Poe raps like he's giving a TED talk. 
you know so <laughs> like for me it's, it's just i like words i've always liked words and i think that they can be manipulated in so many different ways mm, and why not that's you know? beautiful in t- okay now you said manipulate words in certain ways let's talk about this song love essential <laughs> Wow. Now, I feel like record. you made this song for women. I don't know if you're wrong, but speaking as a woman, I feel like this song was made for me. <laughs> it has like the nature sound effects and everything. <laughs> I just feel like I'm on holiday, vibes all around, and there's some guy, some chocolate guys walking up to <laughs> it's me. It's a chocolate guy. I had to add that in there. Chocolate guy. So, Love Essential featuring Amare. How did that feature come about? And um, I feel like she was perfect. I said on air the other day, I was like, you know, she's the only human being Mm -hmm. that could have been on that song. If not, I would have done it just by myself or maybe not even have put it out. You know, Love Essential, it it really is. I wanted to create like a sonic, like landscape, like a shifting. I can't explain it in my, in my head. I just heard different layers and textures. Like you're immersed in it, like you're in a well, Mm -hmm. you know? So I just wanted to create something like that. and, And I, we did shout out to the producers on that track. I hit up, tech from stc to link me up with amaria and you know we sent her the track and she she hit me up and she's like she really really liked it and then from there you know the magic so did you intend for that song to be um played in other parts of the house it's sorry what <laughs> <laughs> excuse me i'm trying to find a pg-13 way to say this um <laughs> wait, 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 you know we have the kitchen we okay. have living rooms we have bedrooms we have bedrooms yes, yeah we, we all have we have we sleep, we sleep in bedrooms. We have living rooms that can be bedrooms as well. Yeah, you have a point right yeah, there. So yeah. was this song intended to be played in the bedroom? Funny because... enough, funny enough, this song didn't really have that intention. I was trying to express something that I couldn't, I can't quite grasp in my hands, but Law of Attraction Unless... on the other hand, mm. Law of Attraction, that song was meant to be played in places that the light doesn't come on. Do you understand? So like, yeah, The light uh, can come on sometimes, it's fine. It can, it, it can. can, maybe dim. But you know, <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> it was meant to be something that I feel like you on the front of your camera can have a good time. You mm-hmm. know, I wanted I wanted um, law of attraction to be like that. Love essential is just expression. Yeah. You know, and I think Amory and I really tapped into that. But I'm grateful that it's being played in um, dynamic places and interesting places in the house. Really, really. Okay, so I saw you had like a listening party right recently, uh, yeah. or like a launch party. Thanks for my invite, by the way. It was not really planned by me, but it's all good. It's okay. I'll be, I'll be expecting the next one. The one right? I plan, you're definitely invited. Oh, is it? Is it like anytime soon? Um. Mm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is sometimes. So, what can we actually expect from Ladipo this December period? Is anything? happening for you um i'm definitely not doing a headline show this year uh and that was intentional because there's a lot of places i want to be and um and yeah i need every single date in december to do that you know the calendar is booked we thank god and so um next year there's something i'm going to be working on more more like shows more opportunities for me to one thing i really want to do is meet and greet with the lifelines. That's what I call my fans. My lifelines. lifelines. I, like I need that. that one-on-one time with them. I feel like they've given me so much. Do you know we have a few lifelines um, right here in the oh, office? Really? Yeah, yeah. We have one staring at us right oh. now. You know she doesn't look like this on a normal day. Tell me. She doesn't. She comes sure? wearing rags. I'm Are like, you sure? I'm like, I don't believe that. Girl. The way she's dressed. I okay, don't rags you. is a bit much. That's a yeah. bit much. But she did not look this good yesterday. Are you sure? I guarantee she's not gonna look this good tomorrow. Somehow I don't believe you. <laughs> I believe that it's every day. It's an everyday thing. She said yes. She can't even talk. I know. Her eyes said yes. Her eyes said yes. Said okay, yes. you see, you're making a lot of the girls blush. I don't in the know what, you mean. what do you mean. A lot of people look at you. Stop it, man. About. Why are you making me say too much? But it's this video that's on your phone that me I'm interested in. Oh, so I had to say, okay, so Ladipo, when he first met me, he was like, Do we know each other? And I was like, No, but I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. And I showed him this video of him himself taking can I say it? Yeah, you guess. You, you guess? Why do you, why do you? Unwillingly. <laughs> he was taking off his shirt and I was there front and center to capture Apparently. it. Apparently, you were one of the people instigating the matter. Yes, for my full chest. I say it. Yes, I was. Proudly. Oh, my goodness. I remember <laughs> handing off my, my, my um, vest to somebody in the audience. Okay, so um, do we see any more videos coming for the Providence album? Um, for sure. Like I said, running is dropping today, guys. Be ready mm-hmm. for that. Um, there's definitely some song. We just played one that definitely is getting a video. Um, and so there's more visuals. I'm a very visual artist. I like to mm-hmm. see visuals to my stuff. And um, yeah yes definitely a lot of videos you know and hopefully next year like my own show 
I really want to do my own show. It's about time for us to do that. Last yeah, time was 2018. Yeah, I'd love to see you headline a show. Yeah. That would be very nice. Yeah. And you know, I'll be there instigating some more taking off of shirts. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even Just care. Just bring the whole Beats FM gang with you, please. Definitely, please. definitely. And you mentioned something about TikTok challenges. Can we see um, some... There's no time. Some girls, like, you know, taking... You, I, you know, oh, I, I see it now. Uh, I feel tell like me, it should tell be a me. challenge for the men. They should do, like, a whole striptease kind what? of... What? There's no <laughs> time. Uh, there's no end. <laughs> hmm. Actually, you know, that line is actually interesting. That there's no time, there's no energy. It needs to be turned into something. What? I feel like I'm a there's TikTok no thing. shirt on my body. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I think you might have a career in other things other than radio. You oh, know you know think? Yes, I oh, do. Oh, let me know because I'm always down to like experiment, expand. experiment, <laughs> experiment, expand, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. I am down. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Nicole. <laughs> thank you, Larifo. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in today. This has been so much fun. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I feel for like real. I could talk to you for so much more time. It should be welcome. It will. It will. Mm-hmm. It will. It will. Okay. So, where can your revivals find you if they are looking for you? All right. So, if you're looking for the leader of the revival, you can find me on L A D I P O E. That's on every single social media platform. Hit me up. You guys are my lifelines. There is no movement without you. But you knew that. But you knew that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ladipo, for coming on the Beat 99.9 FM. Behind the scenes, I'm going to be accosting you for all my tickets to uh, all the shows. <laughs> I got you. I'm I got not you. even playing. Michael, you got them, right? You got me right. My G, my G, my G. I'm going to leave you with this last one from Ladipo. This is him featuring Amore with Love Essential.